Hi there, my name is Dave Buggy. I'm at the Behringer Associates and today we're going to talk about a challenge that a lot of distributors face which is having a lack of a centralized database for sales, marketing, and customer service information as a whole. So uh, my contact information is here on the screen. If you'd like to uh, talk more about this topic, please feel free to reach out at uh, any point in time. So does this look like your organization where you've got ERP in one system, you might have some marketing going on in another, uh, sales might be using some spreadsheets or a different system to manage sales information, you have customer service in a different system, your website, and so forth. So obviously there are a lot of challenges with this type of landscape. Uh, one is that you can't get a 360 degree view of a customer or even let's say a vendor or a prospect. It also creates a lot of challenges for reporting and analysis. Uh, in addition, it creates uh, a lot of challenges for performing targeted marketing. So what we're going to take a look at here is CRM for distribution, which is our product uh, built on top of Microsoft Dynamics CRM. And uh, we're going to talk about centralizing your information inside of, uh, inside of CRM for distribution. So what we're looking at here is when we come into the uh, customer or account area of the system, you can see that my view here is set to active customers. Where does this data come from? Well, in most of the implementations that we do for wholesale distributors, we are integrating with the ERP system on the back end. So it is feeding in information from, uh, let's say, customer information, vendor information, and then a whole bunch of transactional information like orders and invoices and quotes and, and things like that. So we typically also replicate the account structure that you have in your ERP system. So take this top record here, uh, Bayberry, who's a customer. Um, you'll notice this little graphic symbol next to uh, the record. That means that there is a, an organizational hierarchy defined for this customer. And if I click on that, you'll notice that you get a nice uh, organizational hierarchical view of this particular customer. So I've got a master or a top level record here. And then I've got some uh, ship to records that live beneath that master record. So we'll kind of get back to that uh, in a minute here and, and talk a little bit more about that when we get a little bit deeper into the uh, topic today. So back out to uh, the main screen here. Um, another thing that I wanted to point out is that on this drop down up here, we have multiple views that we typically define. So this happens to be uh, active customers. Let's say I want to look at just the ship to accounts rather than the primary accounts. So you can see now we have a list of ship twos all with that uh, hierarchical uh, image indicator here telling me that I could drill in and look at their hierarchy a little bit further. Or if I go out, I can pick active suppliers and I can also pick active vendors and I could have a view here for prospects and, and maybe some other types of accounts that uh, we might deal with as well. So at uh, just the, uh, the touch of a mouse here, I can get to very specific types of records that I may want to work with. The other thing that we typically do when we integrate with your ERP system is that we will uh, perform account assignments as that data comes into dynamic CRM and CRM for distribution. So in your ERP system, if you have a sales rep or sales territory defined, uh, as that record comes in, flows into uh, CRM for distribution, that we're performing that same, uh, let's say, account manager assignment in the CRM system. We're typically also implementing or applying a security model as well. Uh, the, the typical security model that we see at wholesale distributors is that the outside sales team can only view their own uh, customers, their own prospects, their own orders, their own quotes, and so forth, where the inside sales team can see uh, all the records in the system because they don't work typically on a named account basis. Now, that can be completely and uniquely tailored towards your own model. Um, and, uh, you know, up from there, it's uh, the, the hierarchy flows up. So the sales manager would be able to see all of the records for all the people that report to him or her, and then up to a VP and so forth. So um, inside the system here, you can see that we've got a, a great centralized view of the system here. And if I want to drill in, let's say, to a customer and get more information, you'll notice that we're blending together here a whole bunch of different information into a single view inside CRM for distribution. So we've got a number of uh, data elements that are coming from the ERP system. Those have padlocks on them because we wouldn't want to allow people to change those in the CRM system. 
because we'd be violating the business rules that might be defined in the ERP system. So um, fields here with a padlock, they're what's called mastered in the ERP system. So to change a customer account number, you would go to the ERP system to do that, and that change would flow down into CRM automatically. So over on the right here, we've got all the contacts that we typically interact with at this customer. In the middle, we've got an automatic feed of uh, information here that tells me what's been going on with this particular customer account. So as people interact with this record and they're sending emails to this uh, somebody at this customer, they're logging phone calls um, and so forth, those activities automatically show up here in the middle of the screen. So I can get a really quick synopsis of what's been happening with this particular customer account. So obviously we have some uh, address information, we've got some mapping on the screen, any sales opportunities that are currently in process, uh, and so forth. And then down a little bit lower, we get into a lot of the detailed information that we assemble in CRM for distribution. So we've got the customer ranking algorithm that runs here, which we'll talk about in a separate video. We've got a complete sales history analysis. Um, and we can go all the way down and we can dig into things like quotes that are open and outstanding that haven't been ordered. We could look at uh, all of their items that um, have been quoted but not ever placed on an order or an invoice. So it's a great view for salespeople. We could uh, drill into orders not yet invoiced. And we could also drill into uh, anything like invoice aging. So you've got a great amount of information centralized in CRM for distribution here, which uh, eliminates the, the challenges that come with having data spread over lots and lots of different systems. We're not replacing some of those systems. So ERP, we're not replacing ERP, we're integrating with it. And some systems we may be replacing. So we might be taking sales off spreadsheets, we might be um, taking your uh, external marketing system and incorporating that uh, functionality into CRM for distribution and so forth. So quick run through today, a uh, good topic, and it's one we hear from a lot of distributors and a challenge that they face, uh, which is not having a centralized view of customer, prospect, and vendor information. Hope this video was helpful. If you'd like to discuss it further, please uh, scroll back and look at my contact info, or reach out to me at any point in time. I would love to uh, discuss the topic in more detail. Thanks for watching and have a great day.